So we've been training in the heat chamber over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a really uh, different and interesting process for us all. None of us have kind of really done it. We spent um, basically 60 minutes per session in it doing all sorts of being on the bike, tissue conditioning, sort of muscle conditioning, uh, a bit of core and then a bit of cogn cognitive exercise in terms of like quizzes and, and games sort of thing to try and get you thinking whilst you're under fatigue. Now that we've qualified for Tokyo next summer, the conditions there are expected to be really hot and humid. So basically it's about us getting best prepared as possible for those conditions. At the minute it's quite tough. <laughs> Boys are finding it pretty tough, but it's been good fun. Um, quite challenging in, in different aspects. Physically it hasn't been as demanding as such. It is just very sweaty, hot, <laughs> quite challenging for, for all of us, especially whenever there's like 10 or 11 guys in there. So. Yeah, it's been quite tough, um, but it's yeah, a really essential, fundamental part leading up to, to Tokyo. It makes such a difference being in there with people who you know, bring good energy and intent to the sessions. And yeah, there's been yeah, a lot of good fun in there the last couple of weeks as well. Everything is just slight, slightly harder, so um, physically, uh, game after game, it takes its toll. Uh, cognitively on the pitch, it's, it's more difficult to make consistent, good decisions. Uh, whereas a climate like England, that all seems a little bit easier. For me personally, when I was in the chamber, I was trying to keep on top of things mentally and whether it just be doing something stupid like sums or something to make me think while I'm in the heat because actually, whilst I'm out playing hockey, yes, I need to run and execute skills, but a lot of my time is spent thinking and organising and, and uh, implementing tactics and things like that and making decisions. It's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, the project has been so professional over the last couple of weeks and I think as a wider part of Team GB that definitely provides a huge competitive advantage going into the Olympics. The support from the EIS is massively appreciated. Sports staff have been superb in terms of organisation and trying to get everybody on time and there's a core temperature to take and sweat patches and questionnaires and weight filling and bottle weight filling and yeah you name it that it has to be done sort of thing so we're always always grateful it's you know hopefully gonna gonna pass evidence in the in the next month or sorry next year.